Now this is a game I'm excited for. Tonight is going to be bloody. Get your hemoglobin ready. This is Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. Made by Inti Creates, who made other games that I played recently on stream that I really liked. Um, Mighty Gun Vault Burst, Blaster Master Zero, Galgun 2, <coughs> oh, Galgun 2. And after this, we're going to do some Bloodborne, the old hunters. I thought when I was a kid that it was Hemogoblin. I was like, what is a Hemogoblin? Is that like a Hobgoblin? So... It's good. It's gonna be a fun night. Uh, this is, like, kind of, obviously, Castlevania 3 influence. This was, a uh, Kickstarter reward. And it's an 8-bit parody. I, I say parody, it's not a parody. It's a- it's an homage. It's a little kind of prequel, I believe, to Bloodstained, which... We still don't have a release date yet. But, this is gonna be fun. Super interested in this. And I- I only learned about it a couple weeks ago, so... Um, I guess we're gonna get started. Um, there's a bunch of things to talk about tonight. It's a bunch of things to talk about, so let me get into it before we, uh, talk about stuff. Let me, let me play the game a little bit. Um, normal mode, and, um, retro-style challenge. Yes. There was once a man who had been given the moon's curse by demons. That man was Zangetsu. Wrapped in crimson garb with eyes like fire, he relentlessly pursued the demons who cursed him. As he journeyed... I know what it says. As he journeyed from one pit of darkness to another, he would stop at nothing until he struck down every last demon in his path. One night, he sensed the looming presence of a great demon. He swore to eradicate all demons, no matter how much of a threat they posed. That's a pretty good... I don't think anyone's gonna be against that. Maybe a demon. But I can get behind that. That's like being pro-homeless. Like, why would you be pro home? I I'm anti-demon. Definitely. Bathed in moonlight, he cried out as he drew his sword, which consumed the darkness from within its wretched steel. On that night, either the demons or the moon itself would feel the wrath of his blade. Doesn't, um... David Hayter plays Angetsu in the actual game, in uh, Ritual of the Night. Oh wait, no, I am pro-demon. In Skyrim. I'm pro Daedra. Oh boy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's amazing. That's really amazing, isn't it? It's so Castlevania. Oh, even the jumping is Castlevania. You can't change directions when you jump. Let's see. Options. I'm having, um... I can't make the game louder for some reason. Hey, let me let me check. Game volume is is very low, and this is maximum volume. So I don't know what that's about. It sounds okay. The title screen music was really good. So how long until I mention Konami? Okay. Well, now we know when this takes place. Generally, after the advent of train. Yep. Yep, it's it's Zombos. Inti Creates did a great job with Mega Man. They did a great job with Blaster Master. Mighty Gunvolt was fantastic. Of course they're gonna do a good job with this. Um You know, I've been complaining a lot lately. Because I've been streaming a lot of Castlevania lately. Not a lot, but a, a fair amount. And like, oh man, it sucks we're never gonna get Castlevania again. This is fine.
Sorry about that. Okay. Um, I know everyone wants me to talk about Total Biscuit, and I have a few words. Just, when people join later, please let them know what I had to say. Um, we lost Total Biscuit to cancer. And, um, however you felt about him, he was a staple. He was a big part of the gaming community as a whole, whether you loved him or you hate him. He was, um, I believe 34 years old, right? That's too young, man. I'm 33. Uh, when I learned about that, it hit hard. And, again, it's fucking cancer, and it sucks. That's why we do our charity stream. Um, yeah, it's terrible. It's fucking awful. And, uh, rest in peace, and... This is just terrible news. Just awful news to- to read today. And I don't really know much about the guy. I really, you know, I watched a little bit here and there. I know who he was in a general sense. But, obviously, empathy extends beyond... beyond... what you know of someone's work. And, uh, so I just want to say that now, get it out of the way. And, um... Fucking rest in peace, man. That's all I can really say. Alright. Well, we're gonna play some video games tonight. Oh, there's a sub-weapon. Okay. Alright, so... How do you follow that, man? That's tough. Skele skele friend. It seems like you use sub-weapons with the X button, however, that will require weapon points. If I destroy lamps, I can find magic potions to restore my weapon points. Different colored lamps contain various sub-weapons that I can use. Even so, I remain devoted to the sword. Um, so in Castlevania- oh! In Castlevania, hearts gave you, uh, weapon power. In this, hearts give you health. Which makes a lot more sense, if you think about it. Uh, I'm really into this... The feel of the game. I was wondering if the jumping was gonna be stiff like old Castlevanias. And you know what? It is, and I think I'm okay with that. So this sub-weapon is whip. So I have sword and whip. And I'm killing rats immediately. Like a fucking monster. Chat, is this the Bloodstain, the one that was a big crowdfunding hit? And the answer is no. This is the... Bloodstain raised a lot of money, and one of the stretch goals was to uh, release a... an 8-bit themed, styled game based on the Bloodstained characters and universe. This is that. This is developed by Inti Creates, not the people that made, um, not Iga himself. So this is- the fact that this even exists is because it was so, um, successful on Kickstarter. There we go. Let's see, I don't have the ability to get in there just yet. I see a lot of, um, people saying, watch this game be better than the actual game. Listen, I can be a little cynical myself. But I'm- I'm very optimistic about it. I hope it's awesome. And nothing so far has given me the indication that it's gonna be... poop. But, man, how about that? So those are just bone pillars. This is the Orville of Castlevania games. Hey, I wanted to actually kind of talk about the sub-weapons for a second, so... Like, I wonder how it is, like, does Konami... ...hold... Like, how do they... Like, do they trademark knives? And stuff? You know, is Holy Water trademarked? So, I mean, they're doing different sub-weapons. Obviously, this is holy water, but it's, you know... It's a little vortex. Um, kinda fucked up, didn't I? 
Let's see if I can get them to respawn. Nope. There we go. Holy water is TM by God. God's gonna sue Konami. Please. Okay, there's the whip again. Oh shit. Massive, massive steam beast, huh? Okay. It's got like Lego fists. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Oh, I see what you're doing there. Oh, fuck. I'm out of... I'm, I'm out of sub-weapon. Okay, I'm gonna play it safe. Oh boy. Where's the big fire? Where's the little fire becomes the big fire? Okay. Oh shit. Fucked up. Can't get up there. So far, it's it, the difficulty of the game is definitely more manageable than some of the earlier Castlevania games. I mean, just that's just my comparison to level one versus level one of, say, Castlevania three or Castlevania one. And Castlevania three and one did start out like tolerable, but I have a feeling this game is going to be slightly more accessible than those games are now. Ah, oh, shit. Three is my favorite of the classic Castlevanias, but if you watched me stream it, it is pure hell. About 65% through the game. Oh my god, did I die so many times during that one level. I think we got a phase two. Oh my god! Thank you, one health. Thank you, Jesus. The cross is also TM God. Um, so Holy Water Cross, those are TM God. Bible, TM God. I'd say Axe and Knives. I don't think anyone has a trademark on those, so it should be fine. Thank you for saving me. Was it the demon's power you used to seal that beast? You. You're the shard binder. A shard binder. That power can summon forth demons at will. I cannot allow that. Wait. It is true that I am a shard binder. However, I have sworn to be ever righteous in my command of this power. I refuse to be used for evil. And show me proof of that determination in battle. Miriam has become an ally. So Miriam is the main character of Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, which this is obviously not. This is Curse of the Moon. This is Circle of the Moon. I mean, Curse of the Moon. Um, so far, I'm really enjoying what this is. For a game that I didn't know existed up until a couple weeks ago. Very happy. Okay, without those without strengths and weaknesses, we can traverse seemingly impassable terrain. Determine the shortcut. Okay. Quickly switching places would be a wise idea. Sub weapons um, can only be used by a certain person. No one else can even pick them up. Okay. Miriam! Zagetsu! Jonathan! Charlotte! So Miriam is is the uh, the Belma. I mean. Belmondo. Oh, 
yeah, she's got a better jump. Sengetsu has short jump, but sword. I guess sword is good. These skeletons remind me of the little Bloodborne skeletons. <laughs> I mean, this is just straight up. You know what? Listen, man. This is great. And this has Iga... The blessing of Iga. Ego wasn't always involved with the Castlevania series. It's not like he didn't start it, but you know. He had a lot to do with the direction it took later on. Yeah, the music is good. I, you sure it's loud enough that you guys can hear it? Because on my end, it's kind of low. Yeah, it is low, but that's okay. It's loud enough. All right. need a better, um, sub-weapon, because the only sub-weapons I have at the moment are ones that shoot up. Oh shit, it's a knife! And it shoots straight ahead. You know what that means. Konami?! There's a Smash rumor. Again, I've been talking about rumors for a while, and... Um, I don't actually believe any of them are legit. But I like talking about them since we're so close to E3. Supposed Smash leak. <laughs> what a surprise. Saying that Simon Belmont is going to be a character. And that Ice Climbers are back. And all the other previous characters that were cut, or were in Smash 4, are also back. No, I can't provide you a source. Who cares? It's just some dumbass rumor, but... You know, that's that's the one that's going around at the moment. One of the reasons climbers were cut was... apparently due to the technical limitations of the 3DS. And, uh... Which I, I still find that to be weird, considering Rosalie. Oh, hi Medusa head. Well, oh, this looks interesting. That is not the cross. That is. Oh God! I I suppose it had to happen. Oh, Miriam's just dead? Just a second. Yeah, I can't switch. So I guess you lose the life. You- you lose the character before you lose the life, I think. Fire. Wait, what does this do? This doesn't kill enemies. This doesn't help me! Man, I'm really beansing this up. Yeah, oh, it's not easy. But then again, it, it kind of... It could be, it's just Medusa heads are my worst nightmare at forever, so... I think Miriam is better equipped for this section than I am, uh, than Zengetsu is. Anyway! Ow! So I saw Solo, and no, I'm not going to give any spoilers, but I'd like to let you know 
that I'm I'm very bad at this game right now. I saw Solo. I had no expectations. In fact, I barely had any interest, but I got dragged along and at the same time it was also I really wanted to see what it would be all about. And I'll tell you what. For a movie that I did not want, no spoilers once again. It's not bad. It starts off pretty rough. Aaron Reich does a good job. I don't totally buy him as Han, but he has a good... He's good acting. And he's got good mannerisms. Um, I need to let the movie, you know, sit for like a week before I really think about it, because... Um, obviously... Obviously, me being high on a movie, like, the first time I see it is a very bad idea, because, you know... Last Jedi, anyone? But yeah, I can say that this was definitely a low expectation kind of thing, and I ended up in enjoying it more than I thought I would because it was it was uh, inconsequential. It wasn't an important story. It was just some dumb movie, and the action got a little stupid at some points, and at other points, I was like, "Oh, this is pretty good." Not not bad overall. Not bad. The st second half of the movie is better than the first by far. So that's my official review. Chewbacca gets a lot of good screen time. Uh, Lando was pretty good, and uh, it was fun. Not, it's inessential though. It's totally non-essential, and um, you know, some of the things that Marvel does, you know, lately. Obviously, Disney's been trying to do that. Disney, like there's some setups and some some unnecessary fan service, some good fan service, but some of it was a little bit ham-fisted. Most of it worked, though, surprisingly. Um, but I'll say that, that the Marvel movies... I was never a Marvel fan growing up. I like the Marvel movies better than the Star Wars movies. Lately. So, and, and I'm a huge Star Wars nut. So, uh... Just, just throwing all the Castlevania 3 enemies in here, aren't we? again. I'm glad the game isn't easy, but I'm also upset that the game isn't easy. <laughs> but mostly glad. There we go. Not that long of a section, but I still had trouble with it. Good now. Notice Zangetsu's health bar is a little bit um, more than Miriam's. Zangetsu is definitely a little more Ninja Gaiden as opposed to Miriam's Belmont, which I think is cool as well, because, you know, there wasn't really a comparable character in um, Castlevania 3. Well, they're Grant. Uh, a little bit of Grant. So, um, yeah. So let me let me just say I liked Infinity War a lot more than I liked Solo, but I liked Solo more than I liked Rogue One. Weirdly enough, uh, I'm gonna need to let my you know, brain rest on it. It wasn't great, but it was definitely good. Very good. For a movie I did not want to exist whatsoever. So, um... I know it's apples and oranges, but I just in terms of pure enjoyment, that's how I feel about that. And, uh, I got my money's worth. Back 
Better than terrible. Yeah, better than terrible. Oh, I don't like you. Oh, man, I don't like you. Fuck. I wasn't paying attention to how much health I had left either. There we go. Need some wall meat. I mean, wall heart. So it's an axe. Let's see how it behaves. Oh, it's different than usual axe. Nice! Fucking powerful. Oh yeah, I have 30 magic power now. Still stick with that sub weapon. I think that one's uh more versatile than the axe, I think. I guess it depends on what I'm gonna be fighting in a second. Is that a turtle? Is that a magical turtle? It's almost. <laughs> it's almost a fucking turtle, sure. No enemy health bars. Ow. Ow! Oh my god! Dude. from the top I my other character's dead I couldn't switch Zangetsu had died Sometimes I press up attack to try to throw a sub weapon Clearly wrong. Morally. And I have to start back there to fight the boss again? Was this Bloodborne? Oh wait, no, that's up in about an hour and a half. And yes, I have the old hunters. You guys talked me into it. I guess I talked myself into it. Are you playing this game with a controller? What, are you trying to get bingo? Of course. Let's see, what do I want for this dude? The, the sub-weapon that I have right now is pretty good. I'm gonna stick with it. I'm gonna try it again. Oh fuck, I have the axe. Well... It is pretty good. Already out. Oh, 
axe takes up lots. Oh, wrong button. I thought I tried to slide with Zengetsu. Don't know if dead. Yeah, these bosses like to fucking kamikaze into you at the end, don't they? Good. And whomst are you? That I would be defeated by a demon. I have been thoroughly humiliated. I am Alfred, an alchemist. Alchemist? You use demons to fulfill your worldly desires. Every achievement requires a fair exchange. Even using demons is sometimes necessary. You have your own goals, correct? My power may be of use to even you. Your existence is unsettling to me. But your skills are not without value. I'll leave your head where it is for now. Okay. I doubt that David Hayter is voicing Sangetsu like Snake. <laughs> but in my version, he does. Young Snake. Played by Alden Ehrenreich. With new allies, it appears I can use LNR button. Right, I know this. Okay, we got this already. This dude has a fucking lollipop as a main weapon. I'm not hopeful. Can he use Guild Horse? Yes, he can. He is that. Hey, that's a cool move. Obviously, main weapon is suck. Dude doesn't have a lot of health. But... Taking massive amounts of damage, don't mind me. Oh, look at that shit! Cool. Um, yeah, let's go right. Seems like Miriam is the best all-around character at the moment, just for general purpose fuckery. Bloat. Um, we're gonna go down this time. This is cool. Alternate paths. Skeletons tell you which paths to go on. I don't know why. I don't know why, but okay. Thanks, skeletons. Ah. Mistakes were made. Oh, mistakes. Mistakes. I saw the heart and I had the instinct to switch characters, but it was far too late. But 
yes, the slow and methodical approach to action platformer is very missed. The slow movement speed. The thought-out attacks. The, um, commit to the jump. If you fuck up the jump, that's it. No recovering. Can't turn around. It's all here. But why vomiting birds? <laughs> why not? Why not? Oh, you fuck. Are you- you mental? Why didn't I just use Zengetsu's whip from the bottom, though? Like, what's wrong with me? want to kill that dude. Do they even... No, they don't... I don't know what this does. It's more attack power. Guess we're not going up there. Fucking arrow spam. This is an interesting take on the mimic. Spider in a box. Okay. Well, Zelda 2 flashbacks have just occurred. Oh, this is cool. Does this work with others? No. Seemingly no. Please. Okay. I'm gonna try to go back up. Yeah! Does the clone take damage? I didn't see it happen. So many... Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh, I thought that was a secret. <laughs> it's not really a secret, was it? Someone said, is this gonna be on Switch? This is the Switch version. Playing it on Switch. The other Bloodstained, Ritual of the Night, is going to be on Switch, too. Which, originally, the Kickstarter was actually for the Wii U. Like, there was a version that was going to be Wii U, but then they were like, nope. Remember too, that was like when the Kickstarter happened a couple of years back. I was like, I was like, I don't know if I want to get this for the Wii U. I don't know how much longer the Wii U is going to be alive. And then, you know, it got canceled and announced for Switch, and then everyone was happy. I would knew what I was doing when I did that, but I did it anyway.
Hey, Bats, you're really annoying. Vinny, what is that other Castlevania-like game that was more like the DS Castlevanias? Um... Dead Cells? Are you thinking? didn't have enough to activate the shield. Or Hollow Knight, which I will also be streaming when that comes out on Switch. Like I said, I'm only waiting for it on the Switch just because I want it on my Switch library so I can play it portably and it gives me a chance to wait for, um, for the game so I don't, you know, I really want to play it right now. I want to play it later. I figure, I figure the Switch version is a nice excuse. I could just wait for that. That's cool. The Switch? I'm, I'm biased. Yes, I am biased towards the Switch because it is such a good machine for indies. Dead Cells was announced for Switch which will probably get me back into Dead Cells when that happens. Now, if they could just announce Slay the Spire for mobile or for Switch, I'd be very happy. Yes, very good. Though, not every Switch version is the superior version. Like, for example, Wizard of Legend has mouse and keyboard. I talked about this the other day, but mouse and keyboard control, so you could aim the spells with the mouse. It doesn't have that. No dual joystick. It's not a twin stick on the Switch. Shit. Gotta be more careful before I go and pick up a heart. And uh, it also stutters a bit, which they're releasing a patch to fix that, and I hope they release that soon. However, that said, Wizard of Legend is still really great, and I love it. I've been playing it a little bit here and there, and, and it's just so much fun and addictive. And even if the Switch version is currently not the best version, which I hope that changes at some point, um, I'm still enjoying it. I like gold! Boss is cool. Oh. Oh, cool. <laughs> Are we done? Is there going to be a suicide move? Did I just do that with no damage? Either easy boss or I am god at video games. Come on, you know! I mean, I am better at some of these classic style games than I am 
a lot of other types of games, but I mean, that's the Zelda 2 skill. There's a little bit in there. There's like, in one of my fingers, I have a little bit of skill. Every now and then it decides to show itself. Cursed shard binder. Carry the power of numerous demons. Very perceptive of you. I require the demon's power to achieve my revenge. At this moment, our objectives align. Cooperation would be fruitful for us both. So be it. I'll let you continue breathing for now. Gable? Gerber baby? G Gebel? Gebel? Alucard? Alucard. Summon darkness. Immortal metamorphosis! Summon blood. Okay, why during metamorphosis? Quick ascend. Folu card. F O U F A U X L U C A R D. Did I say summon blood and not siphon blood? Uh oh. I made a bit of a stinky. You could summon the blood. It didn't seem that outlandish at the time. Like, oh, you just summon, like, a blood pool that becomes sentient. And yes, Alucard does become a bat in Castlevania 3. And again, I would recommend you watch my playthrough of it on the Full Sauce channel, but... It's a little frustrating. I do persevere, spoilers. But that game uh, kicked my ass a little bit. And Alucard's bat transformation actually did go a long way in saving my ass a number of times. No, I save state abused um, bloodlines. That game, that game is a motherfucker. Cause these are games that are meant to be like played over weeks and like getting really good at all the patterns. And I guess I just don't have the, the patience for that anymore. And time too, like, I, you know, there are some streamers that can do that and their audience would be totally okay with it. I'm not sure. I mean, I don't want to put words in your mouth cause everyone's different and there's so many different types of people here, but like, some of the older games, where it's just, you know, four streams of me dying over and over and over again. I don't know how fun that would be for myself and for the audience. So I abused the shit out of save states in Bloodlines, and you know what? It tasted like chocolate. It was so good. I was like, mmm. Save states. But some people do like the pain. Some people like to see me suffer, and other streamers. It's suck juice. That's the good suck juice. You gotta get that while you can. Vinny, you could play a board game off cam and you would still have over 4,000 viewers. Do I have to test that theory? Because you are wrong, I think. But here's the thing, what if I do the board game by myself? How entertaining could that be? If it's just me, 
taking the turns. So I just play the game of life or Parcheesi, and I play all the characters. Good. What do you think the name of this castle is? Bast Castlevania, Bastionvania, Fortvania, Hyrule Castle, Ca Castle Vussy. Okay, that's enough questions. That's enough questioning the audience tonight. Some pretty severe damage in that corridor. It's not really a corridor, was it? I thought that was a bad dude. I need... I need the old man powers. I need the magic deck. I need that old Blade Runner magic deck. I was quit when I walked in here. Now I'm twice as quit. Ask Holden. He's good. Part time. I knew I was part time when I walked into the office. But he made me an offer I couldn't refuse. Drink up, lads. See the wizard, the wonderful wizard of old. Lucky I am. Very lucky. That was probably health, wasn't it? No, that was not health. Thankfully. Good joke. That wasn't a joke, that was a reference to a Red Letter Media video. Smart ass. I don't tell jokes on the stream. Oh. Oh, I guess I can't get up there now. Meanwhile, all I had to do was use Miriam over there. God damn it.
Nice. Nice ability. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah, freeze that shit. It's like Getsu gets it. Yeah, sure, I'll take the quad damage. That is a jump I don't believe I can make. Good music all the way through, by the way. I don't know if you've been paying attention, but I have. It's good. This is Cerberus on crack. Uh, might have been worth it. I'm not sure if it was yet. How do I get up there? Uh, I need Miriam for that jump. What you do? What you do? Oh. Oh, what is this? Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no. Just die. I got this. It's just old man time. Old man with small rod. Shoots on demon. Mortal 11. Old man beats double dog with small rod. Yes, good. I mean, uh, four health. The weakest character in the game. No problem. keep the quad damage. That was actually pretty useful. I don't know if it's actually quad, but let's just say it is. It's more damage. Oh, it's 
this part again. Yeah. Oh, that's max up. Close to the boss now, with four characters, full health, and everything else. Yeah, we'll get that. I'm not gonna risk that. Oh, this well, this isn't like Castlevania 3 where you fall down a pit and you just die. But I have to actually jump from far above. Yeah, in Castlevania, well, multiple Castlevania games, when the screen scrolls up, if you fall off, you're, uh, you're, you're toast. Toast. No one says that anymore, do they? Oh, I forgot about, um, Gebel. He can fly. That's fine, though. Worth it. Okay, different characters are suited to different activities. Not bad. Zangetsu is just too strong, man. Too strong. If a character dies, you have to start the boss fight over. That's correct, yeah. Which makes the character switching thing make more sense for boss fights. Sunder the night. Sunder the sea. Oh, what are you? You look great. This music is so good. This is just a taste of what we'll be seeing in Blood, uh, Bloodborne after this. I mean, what other stream can you say offers you two bloody games in one night? Man, I am just full of surprises. If they remove that dialogue from the Final Fantasy VII Remake, I'm gonna be pissed. I wanna see it written out. Cloud, you just full of surprises. J-E-S. F-U-L-L-A. 
Like, as the voice actor is delivering the line, I need to see it. Oh, look! It's the dragon before it died. Exactly the wrong attack. Good. It seems I'm ill-equipped to handle this thing. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? to even attempt. Nope. No, it's not. Oh, give me some of the wall stuff. Come on. You're telling me this whole boat, there's not one hidden compartment in the wall that someone stuffed a real bloody human heart into? wall stuff. Gotta look for secrets everywhere. Bloodstained Portrait of Ruin. Holy shit! <laughs> Do I have to fight Zangetsu as a painting now? <laughs> that was a lot easier than I made it out to be. That was an intentional voice crack. It wasn't. Don't listen to him. Intentional. Yes! That old man certainly did not need to be sacrificed. Oh, 
only I had a thing. Like, like a, a, a holy water thing. Yeah, let's get out of here. Why? <sighs> My fault. My fault entirely. <laughs> oh, man. I was like, what if I transform into a bat and go through him? Good. Yes, good. up this way. Oh, the rain is pushing Miriam. It's like the one Mega Man 4 stage. It was like, uh... Uh, Psychedelic Toad. What the fuck was that? Um... Oh, Toad Man! It's not a lot of variety in Mega Man boss names. Not until the X series. Oh, there was a Clown Man. I believe that was in Mega Man and Bass, right? Mega Man and Largemouth Bass. My favorite character in the Mega Man universe. That was Mega Man... Mega Man 8? Oh, I get those two confused. Fan-fucking-tastic. Was a diversion, but we still have to come back here. Be, yeah, probably this. Yeah, old man, get some kills. Finally. Cool. Let's get the big health. Who needs it? Well, no one really needs it. I guess he got it. Can't go that way. You can't- oh, oh, the bat could make me go that way. That's true. Oh, 
Never mind. Good job! Good shield. is a real motherfucker. Hello, yes. I have a call for Mr. Dr. Acula. Dr. Acula, there are four people here to see you. Tell them it is the wrong game. I have not sounded like this ever in a Castlevania game. Actually, that's not true. Not in a game, but in Captain N, when they did the Castlevania stuff, I think Dracula sounded exactly like that. Hello, Simon Belmont! It is me, Dracula! Oh, Dracula! Well, I'll have you know that I have to check my hair before we fight. That's the only canon interpretation of Simon Belmont that there has ever been. Search. Search your feelings. Jesse, what am I doing in this Captain N TV show? I'm trying to save the world from devastation. So this thing can harness the power of thunder, and I'm using exactly that. Cool. Alright, yep. That was like that other thing from Mega Man X. Storm Eagle. That was a waste of magic. Could have just used the bats. Oh, this is nice and cheesy. I'm gonna assume that that's death. Because you don't go down to fight the boss, so... This dude's shield. Perfect for this. Except I'm still taking stupid damage. Oh boy. It's time to have mini heart attacks all in a row. Yes, sir! I'm sorry for the loudness. Uh, platformers get me going like no other game. I don't I don't know. I think there's something wrong with me. Why 
would I do that? Why? Why? Would I do that? No. Oh. And I realized, too, I could have just used the bat to bypass this entire area. <sighs> yeah, not anymore, I, I'm not, exactly. I wonder if the uh, green is like a special sub weapon. Oh, it's it's uh oh it's only that. It's specifically thunder for thundude. dude. Thunder. Sorry, no, 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 no. Let me get it right. Thunder. I had the uh, the old dude right about now. Hits. Yeah. That was cool. going, are we? Holy fuck. I'm blind. Oh, that's what that does. And, oh, it's dead. That was the final move. I am getting very lucky with those moves and my one HP. Mine got... Did you know that you can use your Domino's app to have Hatsune Miku sitting on your pizza box? I'm just in my peripheral vision, I just see the chat scrolling up very, very quickly. More quickly than the past five minutes. Didn't you stream that commercial? Yeah, I did a reaction to it, and that 
somehow became a video. Someone made that into a video and it actually became semi... Semi... Viewed. People really like that shit, I guess. What is glove? Why, why did I- why I just got the infinity gauntlet? So, what, what was that? Yeah, it almost got one whole view. Apparently someone's saying it's like a power-up. I don't know if it's permanent power, like, you know, extra strength Tylenol. Thunder is really good. Thunder! I'll never be able to say Thunder the same way after Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. It's ruined for me. Just wait until I stream Slay the Spire next. Oh, you have no idea what that game hath wrought. Safe path. Very safe. Very nice. Edward Scissorhands' new gig. Part-time job. What was I saying about Edward Sister Hands? Want that one up, sons of liberty? Well, now that I have it, I feel empty. I've two of my friends have died so that I could get a one up. Was it really worth it? Gebel took one for the team. Gebel? I think in the trailer it's Gebel or G Jebel? Jebel? It doesn't quite 
blow the same way Alucard does, but that's okay. There's a, like a certain clunkiness to the word Alucard, that, but it still, it still has a nice flow to it. Can't really explain it. It's the way Maria pronounces it in Symphony of the Night that I like. Alucard! Alucard! What the fuck is this? Activate Curse of the Moon. Do not... Vin, don't use that. It's a rewind. Stage restart. Oh, thank god I didn't press that button. Seductress? How much you want to bet Zengetsu falls for this shit? That, that, was that Bunny Yasando? Original anime character, do not steal. versus bat. This is uh, an alternate path, but I'm not sure if it's one I want to be taking. I'm going to do it anyway. Thank God I didn't go into the pit. I got hit- oh! God has nothing to do with this. Yeah, that was a shortcut. Crests. There's a dude I went to college with that, um, he m tried to model his, like, whole life and appearance and, like, everything after Ryan Seacrest. Since I said the dude's name, you know, I may as well bring up the story. Like, that was his favorite celebrity. I was like, really? Him. 
So, you find him interesting, do you? He's got a lot of things happening. Probably gonna struggle with this one a bit. Fuck. Tried to stay in uh, the umbrella there and missed it by a second. <laughs> I sent I sent the old man on a solo mission. Umbrella Muffin, you got me? Alright, good. Alright, this time I'm feeling like I got it. That was still probably close-ish. Be a good idea for this fight. Probably not. I don't think I'm gonna stick with the axe. No one needed that, but all right. This boss is based on a real person, just like Vlad the Imperator inspired Dracula. This noble woman loved bathing in the blood of young girls she killed. Oh my god. What's her name? I feel like I know that story. What, what was her name? Was, was it Mary something? Elizabeth Bathory. Bathory, yes. Fitting. And I listened to a good episode of Lore, which is a podcast I've been infrequently listening to. And there was this really good episode about disease. And uh, Mary... Oh, what the hell was her name? Mary... Something. Typhoid Mary. Typhoid Mary. The story of Typhoid Mary. I just don't remember her last name. Um... But yeah, she basically was a symptomless carrier of typhoid, and she was trans- and this is like, I think the early 1900s, she was transmitting typhoid to people by accident, not knowing that she had it. And this was like a, a medical case that actually helped define symptomless carriers. Up until then, they didn't really know about it. Um, and she- what she would do is she would go and she- she was a cook. And typhoid is transmitted through food. So what she would do is she would cook for a family and then she would see other people getting typhoid and she'd be like, Oh, I don't want to get it. And then stop working for them and then go work for someone else. And then spread typhoid there and like eight families got typhoid before they tried to arrest her and she resisted. She fucking resisted hard. 
and then they got her. And then essentially, uh, they put her away for a while on North Brother Island, I believe is the name of it. It's in, uh, off the coast of Manhattan. I think she was from Staten Island at one point, or like she was uh, an immigrant that moved to Staten Island, so... It's an interesting little... Little thing there. But, um... Yeah, and then she finally, she was in containment, and then they, they said that she could be free under the agreement that she doesn't do any more cooking. But cooking was really good work, and it, it paid really well, so she eventually uh, got bored, and she changed her name and started cooking again. And then there was another outbreak of typhoid. There's like a ton of cases of it, and so they found her again. They found out it was her. And then she did not resist arrest the second time. So yeah, they called her Typhoid Mary. They like there was uh, cartoons about her, and it's pretty fucked. Oh my god, this is pretty fucked too. Too. You can freeze sub-weapons into platforms. I briefly noticed that. Should I save this for a part two, you think, chat? Like, how many more levels do I have left? Someone probably knows, right? Two levels. Okay, I'll tell you what. No, 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 we're gonna... Uh, so there's eight levels total. Um, I'm gonna divide this into a part two, so I can get in some good Bloodborne. I just got the DLC, and I want to spend some time with that. This is fantastic. For a, a bonus game that came out of fucking nowhere, they nailed this. So, sorry everybody, but we'll- we'll continue this. I got my two levels left. Someday, very, very soon, I'll finish this. Trust me, I'm gonna want to come back to this soon. Uh, what are we gonna do? Does- does it save? If I go to exit game, is it- is it gonna save? Okay, just checking. You know, the current stage will be lost, but power-up items you've collected will be saved, so, okay. Man, Inti Creates does a great job with classic-style games. I mean, them and Yacht Club need to come together and make the ultimate, um, classic game. They'll call it Castlemanvania, uh, Brothers, Gaiden, Gaiden. All right, 64. Uh, I love this. Come back to it soon. Gonna take a break. Very quick break. And return with Bloodborne. Stick around. Just a couple minutes.